Bind mode in binary search tree. Given the root of a binary search tree, return a list of all the modes of the tree. The mode is defined as the most frequent element. In this case, 8 is the most frequent element as it appears 3 times, so we return a list of just 8. We will solve this in O of n time. First, consider the in-order traversal of a tree. In an in-order traversal, we first recurse on the left subtree, then we process the node, and finally recurse on the right subtree. Consider the in-order traversal for this example. As we are traversing through the tree, we will modify the step where we process the node. We will initialize four variables, previous, count, max count, and modes. And as we process the node in the in-order traversal, we check. Is previous equal to the current value? In this case, it's not, so we set the count to 1. And if count is greater than max count, then we set max count equaling count. And we reset the mode list to the current value. And lastly, we update previous to the current value. And we continue and process the next node. The previous value is different than the current value. So we reset the count to 1. And we don't update max count. But if the count and max count ever equal the same value, then the current value is tied with the highest mode. And lastly, we update previous to the current value and we continue. Now notice previous is equal to current, so in this case we increment the count, and now since the count is greater than max count, we also update max count, and if we ever update max count, then we know we found a new highest mode, so we update the mode list to the current value, and we continue. Previous and current are different, so we reset the count to 1 to track the frequency of the new number, and we don't make any other changes other than updating previous to the current value, and we continue. Previous is different than current, so we reset the count to 1, and we update previous to the current value, and we continue. Since previous equals current, we increment the count, and since count and max count are equal, we found another value that is tied with the current max frequency. And we continue. Again, they're the same, so we increment the count. Now notice the count is greater than max count, so we update max count since we found a new highest frequency. And we reset the mode list to the current value since it now has the highest frequency. At the very end, we return the mode list. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.